Welcome to update 2.6 of the Streamdeck MIDI plugin. In this version, we have a couple of bug fixes and a new feature, but let's start with the bug fixes. If you, in the previous version, created an articulation file with option groups, they were not displayed as groups in the articulation dropdown, but that is fixed in this version. The previous version also had problems with USB connected MIDI ports that were not active when the plugin started, but that is fixed in this version. This button has a MIDI port connected to my complete keyboard that is currently switched off, and if I switch it on, the plugin detects that the MIDI port is available and connects to it. Those are the important bug fixes. And now to the new feature. In the previous version, the plugin could act as a micro control device and you could control eight channels. In this version, you can add up to seven extenders with eight channels each, so you can control up to 64 channels with the plugin. In the editor, there is a new drop down where you select which device the button should use. If you select a new device, the MIDI port will be changed to those assigned to that device. If you change the MIDI ports, they will change for all buttons using that device. I don't expect anyone to create buttons to control 64 channels at the same time, but one important thing to know is that if you have buttons for the selected channel, as this one, they will span across all active Mac devices. So if you have all eight Mac devices active, the selected channel buttons will work if any of the 64 covered channels is selected. With active Mac device, I mean a device that in the plugin has assigned MIDI ports. And of course, you also need the corresponding configuration in your door. If I change the device to the first extender and assign MIDI ports to it, it will now be active and monitor the MIDI in port for commands from your door and will save the state for all functions. If I want to, I can switch back to the first device for this button and the second device will still work in the background, uh, even though I don't have any active buttons using it right now. When you select a MIDI port, you can see that some ports are red and they are disabled, you cannot select them. That is because the MAC protocol does not allow two devices to use the same ports. So when you select a port, the ports used by other Mac devices are disabled and shown in red and you cannot select them. That's all for this update. Thanks for watching.